Well, look, a range of opinions from those of you who watch my channel. A uh, split, really, on whether or not you wanted to see Boris Johnson ousted by Conservative MPs yesterday or not. And those of you uh, against, uh, basically, the reason, main reason seemed to be because you feared that a Remainer could come after and what that would mean moving forward. Now, in that context, and of course, we've seen the Liberal Democrats come out already and talk about rejoining the EU single market. We've even seen a Conservative MP in Tobias Elwood come out and talking about a rejoin agenda. In that context, this was quite a telling uh, comment intervention from Keir Starmer yesterday on LBC. Asked about Labour's position on Brexit, and we know that uh, Labour absolutely want to try and not talk about this uh, at all because they know how damaging it was for them when they tried to overrule the pro-Brexit majority in this country. But Keir Starmer talking about uh, a better deal with the EU, quoted as saying, what I want to do and what we would do if we were in government is make Brexit work, which is make sure we've got a better deal that works. Now, as I have long talked about, I don't think Labour will get a majority. What you're more likely to see, and what I think basically we're on the trajectory to, is a Labour coalition with the Lib Dems and with uh, maybe the SNP. And we know the Lib Dems, as I've already uh, laid out, are talking about rejoining the EU single market already. Now, Keir Starmer's uh, renegotiation, new deal with the EU, whatever you want to call it, um, several people picking up on this already. Brexiteers, Patrick O'Flynn there, saying which bit of reclaimed sovereignty will Keir Starmer be prepared to surrender in return for his better deal from Brussels, by the way. Surely voters are entitled to know. Bruges Group, describing it as a statement sufficient to send shivers down the spine of many a Brexiteer. Steve Crowther reckons this is Starmer giving two to three years notice to the EU that he will ask them to reopen the Brexit negotiations. And a couple of Conservative MPs actually commenting on this, including Brendan Clark-Smith there and Sarah Brickcliffe saying, this, this, this is what I want to stop. And so, yeah, I know Keir Starmer and those uh, around him in the Labour Party have been very careful not to talk about Brexit, try to avoid the subject as much as possible. But there you go, a Labour with a better New Deal with the EU if they were to get into government. As I said, I think they'd be in there with the Lib Dems who've been very clear that they want the UK to rejoin the EU single market. Let me know what you make of that in the comments below, guys. But it seems to underline why some of you didn't want to see uh, Boris toppled by Tory MPs. But regardless of that, this gives you some idea of where we may be headed if Keir Starmer does indeed get into Downing Street. As ever, guys, I'll keep bringing you the very latest on this and more. If you do want to support my channel, hit the thanks button down below to give a super thanks. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.